GameStop was throwing NES systems into a landfill. Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here, and in this video I just wanted to share a story with you from probably about four years ago when I was uh, collecting retro games really hardcore. I was going out every weekend, sometimes during the week searching for retro games, hitting up the yard sales, Craigslist, everything. So anyways, this story has to do with GameStop, and GameStop tends to get a lot of hate. It's kind of the cool thing to do these days, is hate on GameStop, and a lot of times it's warranted. But, you know, there's some things about GameStop that I do enjoy and like, like uh, you can get cheap PlayStation 3 games, cheap used PS4 games. So about four years ago, I was out, I was on a weekend, and I was looking for yard sales. And I was in this small town that was close to where I worked. This guy had a yard sale, and it was an everything must go, everything was negotiable. So this guy had a storage building, and what this guy did is he went out and he bought estate sales, and then he went and sorted through everything and sold everything online or locally. And this guy had a big storage building, I'm talking almost like a warehouse. It was stacked high, full of random stuff. You literally had to crawl on top of stuff in the roof and on the beams in the roof trying to walk around to get to things. And first thing I found when I went in there was a PlayStation 2. And I'm looking around and I find a bunch of retro games. Uh, retro games, consoles, accessories, uh, collector's editions of different things, anime, signed anime, uh, a lot of stuff. As I found things, I put it outside and, you know, kind of out of the way so I could go back to it later without somebody else taking it. And I came across a stack of like six, maybe seven, and I can't remember. I think I have a few pictures of everything that I found. I'll put it in the video. But I found a stack of NES systems. And the NES, the NES systems, they didn't look too bad. There's one or two that were banged up. But they looked pretty decent. Some of them had some yellowing. But they all had yellow stickers on them. And the yellow stickers said GameStop. And the yellow stickers said Landfill. They were being sent to the landfill. GameStop was throwing away Nintendo Entertainment Systems. And that was really disappointing to me because those systems almost never die. I've actually never came across an NES system that does not work or that I could not get working just by cleaning it and doing a few other minor things to it. So I got all these systems and games. I'm going to show pictures of everything that I found. And I tested them all. They all worked. The, all the NES systems worked. And I guess what, what brought this to my attention or what made me think about this was I was watching a YouTuber by the name of Collecting with Corey, and he was talking about how lately he was watching too many YouTube videos because he missed out on a NES console with a I think it didn't have the cables but it had the controllers and the console for like 20 bucks and he was talking about how he could just take it to GameStop and trade it in so GameStop was trashing NES systems and there's no telling what other games or systems they were trashing and I think they were trashing them just because they had the blinking red light which Anybody that messes around with those knows that it usually just needs to be cleaned or maybe needs a new pin connector or you can just, you know, fix the old pin connector. But they were trashing those and they were all marked for a landfill. So I'm glad at some point that this guy that bought the estate sales came across this and, and bought it. Because, I mean, we saved those six or seven systems from the trash and I'm really happy about that. But it makes me wonder if GameStop is still doing that to this day. Because now they're starting to sell retro game systems and games and everything. Are they still throwing away the ones that they cannot get working? And that's what I want to know. Because if they are, that's very disappointing to me. Especially when somebody like me can fix one in 20 minutes just by watching a YouTube video. It's very disappointing that they were doing that. And it makes me wonder if they're still doing that. If anybody knows if GameStop is still practicing that, let me know in the comment section. That really makes me mad that they're throwing those systems out. And they were just marked for landfill just because they had the blinking red light, which is very disappointing. But tell me what you guys think about this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a picture. I didn't think to take a picture of the sticker back then. But they were all over the bottoms of the NES systems. It was yellow stickers, said GameStop, and it was marked for the landfill. But uh, tell me what you guys think about this. 
Do you know if you work for GameStop or you know anybody, do they, do they still practice this? Do they still throw systems and games away just because they can't get them working? Or have they changed now that they're starting to really sell the retro games and they're entering the retro game market? Have they changed their practice? But uh, let me know, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. The like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.